G'day guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, today we're going to have a look at Steve's new camper. Now it's a Blue Tongue camper trailer, as you can see from the images there. Uh, Steve just picked this up during the week, and today we're going to go and spend some time with him and go over the camper. Uh, so if you're interested in looking at one of these or something similar, this might give you some insight as to what it's going to be like to pick one up and uh, go through it for the first time. So come along with me and Steve, let's have a look at this camper. Now this ends up being a, a fairly long video, uh, so what I'm actually going to do is break it up into three sections uh, so you can come back and have a look at it as time permits. Uh, so grab a seat and check it out. Now with your ultimate, did you have any poles? Four, no entry six. Okay. So the ultimate was very fast once you, when you put the endings up, which I believe this one won't be. Yep, yep. That was... Because it, it literally you zipped it on, four poles up. You did really yeah, good, good to go. Ones. Yep. And that was it. With that said, the ultimate's poles didn't. There was no spreader bars, so it didn't allow for water. So the water pooled yep. everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, these things got spreader bars everywhere. And but that, for now, that's the only sort of downfall I see. Like the time it's going to take you to. Yeah. Got them all fiddle after those. That's that's the one thing I don't like about campers. Yeah. Is the is the poles. The poles yep. up there, quite great. Just from a time perspective and weight, carry, space. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, so pretty much just rests on that canvas there anyway. Are you crazy? Mate, they're, they're, they're even numbered for you, too, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it comes with what that's what I did when I disappeared I just a bit ago, I walked inside and photocopied the oh, okay, yep. whole number. Oh, no, you bloody cheated. No, because it's they only supply the one copy of and the, you'll lose it. Oh, the yep. poll numbers. And they tell you at the shop that as they change models and things, yep. they change the poll number. Okay. So, so people come back to them and go, oh, I need to put my poll numbers. Well, uh, well we can't tell you high enough i think they go up higher would they as well or is that about a oh, that's, that's full extension because i got those sides in, yep okay imagine when you unzip it, oh yep you could put it straight up because i'm just thinking about through breeze but they're sitting high enough that you they're not going to stop any breeze coming through are they ah okay yep it's all the way up yes you can go as high as you want Because I find with a couple of the caravan windows, they only sort of come up 45 degrees. So if you've got any breeze coming straight through, it's still enough to block the breeze coming in. You don't get that that wind. So I guess you could just do that. Okay. If you don't want that flat panel, do it up a little bit tighter. Now here's a question. So I can see that the the mesh unzips as well. So do you reckon you'd be capable, say it started pissing down, and you need to... from the inside? Yeah. I believe you would. You look like you might be able to, doesn't it? I don't know. Let's find out. Come down that ladder. <laughs> yeah. Can reach that? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so you can do that from inside if you need to. Good to know. And worse comes to worse if you needed to, you could, I suppose you could just pop those poles out, just drop them on the ground and zip her up. Yeah. Hardest part would be doing this up. Yep. But still, I mean, I think the hardest part would be leading back out to. Get and you know, the good thing about that, Steve? push them out. It actually gives you a bit of privacy in there too. Yeah. When they drop down like that. But you're still getting airflow. So you get a, you know, a fair bit of privacy. Didn't come with solar panels? No, it doesn't come with panels. No. Nah. Okay. But just the one solar panel input? Yeah. There's a bit of get under here and have a look at some of the suspension, shouldn't I really? So it still looks pretty heavy duty in the You'll have to uh, drag it down to Freeman's and <laughs> drag it around there, see so how you go. I'll drag it around 
Plenty of clearance though. It's pretty tall. And I like that they've got you got the one smaller water tank in front of the axle and the bigger one to the rear. Yeah, that's all about Yeah, that's pretty good that. And nice big filler hoses on your water tanks too. Shouldn't take you long to fill those up. Look another trailer plug back here, Steve. Yeah, I saw that. So I no idea. I haven't seen that still there. So we're all in the dark on that one. Yeah, just literally another trailer plug. Which you wonder why you would need another trailer plug. Yeah, I can't think of a situation where you would. Very handy. It's one thing I've got to do with the van is put a put a tap up on the oh, good pressure. Oh, good pressure when you do that. Isn't it? That's the one they usually climb up to your chair on the Yeah. Now, is there something that mounts on the back of this, Steve? Comes as standard or what? You've got three 50 mil receivers back here. They're just be recovery hitches, I'd say. Okay, oh yeah. So what'd you go and get today? Another mount. Two bottles. Oh, okay. It came with no bottle. Yep. And then I discovered they lent, they sit up there's bracing on the backs. And they sit on the, and there's studs poking up through the bolts, poking up through the floor. Oh yeah. And they sat on the bolts, so I've just put the bloody, some rubber underneath them to lift them up and they, they, they held them straight. Because right. they were leaning. Okay. Uh, do you switch between the two, or are you running off both, or is that an automatic or something? Uh, just, you know? It's just a single. You just literally unscrew it, put it down one. Yep. Ah. Okay. Right. On. So it's just. Yep. And the gas is turned off at the moment. I like that. Just the sheath, sheathing on the. Pretty, isn't it? Okay. Well, yeah, that look good. That was already on it, and I just zip tied yeah. it at about the length it needs for the 200. It's a very so. unusual 360 degree coupling, isn't it? So. Well, it's so it still way. works off the ball. Yeah, normal table about that way. Uni, oh, I've way. not seen that before. Neither have I. Okay, yeah, so. My other ones have bloody always been, well, the Treg is a full yeah. 360, whereas that one isn't. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, so that's, well, if you get to that point, yeah, you're, in, deep you're shit. in shit anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Um, but it's only a bolted coupling, so if you ever decide to change it, to yeah, you put whatever you want on. You probably can, yeah. And it's greased. Um, Okay, so it's had another handbrake on here at some point, like a different one by yeah, the look of it. So well. Don't know what that's called. So it's Nalco yeah. brand. Yeah. I've not seen those. And that this is electric brakes AS? Yep. Not the overrides or whatever you call them. I couldn't tell whether that comes out or not. It is a different sort of hitch. I actually quite like that, because on the Pajero, the spare wheel comes right down and you really shorter room oh, yeah, yeah. because you've got the handbrake and everything and the you know the pull top on it but with that not that i need that on the caravan i don't know what they're worth either i imagine there'll be a few bob for them they're not worth the hassle of switching over but yeah i like that and it's shiny mm, it's a fair bloody jockey wheel as well isn't it yeah it's fairly that's a, the, the latest alco offer it actually gives you three pipe positions yeah it's very tall mm. I like that so you should have too much issues with dust, I wouldn't imagine. I no, mean, I you never. The only time they get dust in is if you have it tucked in your canvas properly and it holds it up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because the rubber seal obviously sits on that. And it's closed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so if you've got anything hanging out, it's not going to seal up. Basically, I suppose when it's packed up, you can store stuff on the floor. Yep. So you've got that room. Can you access 
No. Well, if you get in the, in that one, it's closed. So you can't access. It. Okay. So you but, have to shut the that before you close the lid. Right. So you can't have it closed up. Pop that down, and then be feeding stuff into it. No. Okay. So whatever you put in, it's got to stay in it until you open it up. It's all got storage though, I suppose. It's the outside, but... but at least you got that space. It's not wasted space, then, is it? No. You'd, you're definitely going to need a ladder to get that awning up there, I reckon. Yeah. Although, you're, what are you, how tall are you? Six foot? Yeah. And you're on top step. Are you reaching that from there, you reckon? Yeah. You, could, you could do it, but it'd be a bit of a fight, wouldn't it? Balancing yeah, it and struggle. whatever. Anyway, just... Yeah, definitely need a ladder. That's good. I like they've got that little flap there, though. So when you've got that rolled up, it's not going to hold water. Yeah, so this one, oh this one's for a step right there. So which was which? Aha! The big one controls both. Okay. That one separate that one individually. That's interesting. Well maybe the big one controls all of it. Oh yeah, this is a master power, the big okay. one. Okay, right, yep. Okay, I don't think I'm getting that, but yep. And that turns yeah. off that one. And that turns off that one, and obviously use the its switch up there. Yep. Because so you're you can in bed. do it from when you're in bed. Yeah, that would make sense. But so technically, when we were talking outside, you're saying that cut off cuts off the fridge outside. Mm. You can switch everything off from in here, yeah. and then you're only running your fridge really. That's me. No, your well, that's extra. No, that's an extra gas hose from your Weber. Oh, okay. I got a second gas fitting yep. plumbed in. All right. I needed a proper hose to suit that vein it, so that's that one's for the Weber. Nice. I had awesome, it. Doesn't it? Does, doesn't it? It's a it's a good space, good area. Let's turn all the way. Up as well, the awning up. It looks like an inner spring mattress. Yeah, that was an optional extra. And uh, a couple of pockets. I'm going to have to roll that on the chairs up there. Up there. And so you can separate, obviously, the bed from. Yeah. Well, Not yes, that you're going to need to do it really, no, are you? We don't, but if you've got, I suppose, if you've got kids living in this seat. Yes, yeah. You would. So the kitchen slides on that, like, oh, hang on, that's out, isn't it? Yeah. So when the kitchen's in, that'll be all filled up space, yeah. yeah. Probably have a little bit of room to put some stuff on top of the kitchen, but you're not sliding it out while it's all sitting on there. No, so chances of actually using that space is pretty slim, I think. Yeah. If you ever did have one that didn't have a kitchen. Yes, that'd be. You have it as storage. Okay, so usable. So it's not really storage space. We've got storage. <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't want that to be cut the right size, would you? No, would you? All right, so there's definitely storage there. Oops. Okay, so that's the wheel well. Yep. So there is some storage there. And so nothing under the bed as such, because the, the nah, bed really the... sits yeah. in the lid, doesn't it? Yep. There we go. So you got... So that's probably the most useful storage, yeah. really, easiest to get to. Three small spaces. So that's it, guys. Thanks very much for uh, coming along for this one. Thanks to Steve for letting me take a look at the trailer with him and uh, shoot some footage of it. Uh, when he gets a chance to get out and do a bit of camping, gets an opinion on the trailer, what he likes, what he doesn't like, we'll uh, revisit that again with him. And hopefully we'll get a chance to catch up with him on site at some point soon and uh, have a look at what it's like to get the annex up and down and uh, see what modifications he's gotten up to. Catch you on the next one.